Welcome to StoryFlix. In this video, we will explain Kaguya-sama Love is War. This movie is based on a manga about two high school geniuses who can't admit they are in love, so each tries to win a confession of affection from the other. This results in increasingly ridiculous mind games in which they end up outsmarting themselves. Will their egos finally disappear, and will the two confess their love for each other? Let's find out in Kaguya-sama Love is War. Kaguya-sama Love is War begins by showing the moment of the inauguration of the student council president and vice president at the most prestigious high school in the city, which was witnessed by the teacher council and all students in the school. The elected student council president was a young man named Miyuki Shirigain, the top student at the school and well known across the prefecture. Not only smart and always gets the top rank in school, but Miyuki is also very popular with his handsome face and firm attitude. Meanwhile, the student elected as the student council vice president is a girl named Kagaya Shinomiya, the daughter of a wealthy conglomerate family. Like Miyuki, Kagaya is also a smart student and very talented in various fields. Kagaya, who is beautiful and cute, has become very popular at school. The scene then switches and shows Miyuki and Kagaya in the student council room, where they will start carrying out their duties as president and vice president. Miyuki and Kagaya discussed the rumors circulating at school, which stated that they were dating. Actually, both Miyuki and Kagaya secretly like each other, but they are too proud to confess their love as they believe whoever does so first would lose. They both think that love is like a war, where the side that expresses love first is the same as giving up on the battlefield and becoming the loser. Six months had passed since Miyuki and Kagaya were named student council president and vice president, but nothing had happened between the two of them. One day, the student council secretary, a girl named Chika Fujiwara, came to the student council room and told Miyuki and Kagaya that she had won two cinema tickets for a romantic film showing next week. Chika plans to give the tickets to them because she has urgent business next week that can't be bothered. But then, the ticket was snatched by a young man named Yu Ishigami, the student council treasurer. But after seeing the title of the film, and also the romantic genre, Yu immediately threw away the ticket because he didn't like anything romantic at all. Miyuki checked his schedule and realized that he had some free time when the romance film was shown. Chika then said that if Miyuki and Kagaya watched the film together, they would most likely become lovers. Hearing this, Kagaya then launched a strategy to get Miyuki to invite her to watch it first, where Miyuki almost slipped up asking her to go watch with him. But Miyuki immediately realized Kagaya's tactic and launched a counterattack that made Kagaya unable to move. Chika, who completely ignored Miyuki and Kagaya's feud, then gave the ticket to Kagaya and left immediately. With their respective intelligence, Miyuki and Kagaya then think of various ways and tactics to be invited to watch a movie first because they both think that love is war. Kagaya then approached Miyuki and invited him to play cards with the condition that whoever wins can ask the loser anything. Miyuki then agreed. Kagaya was actually planning to let Miyuki win and after that, she would act pitifully and tearfully so that Miyuki would take her to a movie. However, Kagaya's ploy had been discovered by Miyuki. Even so, Miyuki still tried to win the game, and when he had won, he only asked Kagaya for one ticket. The scene then switches to showing Kagaya having dinner at her house, accompanied by her servants. Kagaya then told her servants that she was going to the cinema next week. Hearing that, all the maids looked shocked that a noble and a conglomerate princess like her shouldn't be in a public place and hang out with ordinary people. Elsewhere, Miyuki also expressed his intention to go to the cinema next week with his father and younger sister. On the appointed day, Miyuki was seen pedaling Gus bicycle in a hurry towards the cinema. On the other hand, Kagaya apparently had prepared everything so that her meeting with Miyuki seemed coincidental and unintentional. When they finally met at the cinema and were about to exchange their tickets at the counter, Kagaya seemed confused when choosing a seat because this was her first time watching a movie in a public place. Although reluctant to acknowledge each other's existence, Kagaya and Miyuki both wished they could sit next to each other. Miyuki who saw Kagaya confused about choosing a seat then gave a code to her so they could sit next to each other. But Kagaya misinterpreted it, so they sat far apart. One day, a student came to Miyuki and asked him for advice to express his love for his crush. The student thought that Miyuki was experienced in love because he was the most popular student in school. But in reality, Miyuki was completely inexperienced when it came to love. Not wanting to be caught by Kagaya, 
Miyuki then invited the student to discuss the matter outside. Kagaya, curious about what Miyuki would say to the student, then asked her servant to spy on Miyuki. Kagaya finds out that Miyuki is giving the student perfunctory advice through her high-tech camera. Kagaya, who thought that Miyuki's suggestion would fail, was surprised to find out that the student had succeeded in dating the girl he liked after following Miyuki's advice. Not only Kagaya, Miyuki also looked surprised that his suggestion was successful. Shortly afterward, Kagaya and Chika seemed to be involved in a conversation where Kagaya felt uncomfortable because Chika said an obscene word. When Miyuki entered the room, Chika innocently asked him a question whose answer contained such vulgar words. To avoid misunderstandings, Kagaya then answered all of Chika's questions. However, Chika threw such vulgar words at Miyuki, making him feel ill, and rushed out of the room. Shortly after, Kagaya fell ill and had to rest at home for a few days. Because some important documents had to be signed, Chika asked Miyuki to deliver the files to Kagaya's house. Arriving at Kagaya's house, Miyuki was amazed by the splendor and luxury of the Shinomiya family home. One of her maids told Miyuki that every guest who came to the house and entered Kagaya's room was not allowed to visit for more than three hours because there was no CCTV camera and it was also soundproof. When Miyuki met Kagaya in her room, he looked surprised because Kagaya wasn't lying sick at all like he was worried about. Kagaya even looks healthy and acts like a child. Her maid told Miyuki that when Kagaya had a fever, it would be like that and she wouldn't remember everything until she fell asleep and woke up the next day. Therefore, her maid reminded Miyuki not to do anything to Kagaya. After the maid left, Kagaya then invited Miyuki to lie down next to her on her bed. But when Miyuki approached her, Kagaya fell asleep instead. Not long after, Kagaya woke up and was very surprised to see Miyuki beside her. She immediately pushed Miyuki until he fell off the bed. Miyuki then explained that he didn't do anything to her. But because Kagaya was already angry with Miyuki, she then kicked Miyuki out of her house. The next day, while at school, Kagaya told her friend about what had happened to Miyuki. On the other hand, Miyuki also recounted the incident he had with Kagaya to his friend. The two received a similar explanation and soon realized that everything that happened was just a misunderstanding. When passing by in the school corridor, Miyuki then apologizes to Kagaya and reveals that he only touched her lips with one finger when she was asleep. Hearing that, Kagaya then touched Miyuki's lips with one finger and said that now they were even. When they were alone, they seemed to be very happy after touching each other's lips, even if only with a fingertip. During summer vacation, Miyuki and Kagaya are seen who are frustrated because they haven't seen each other for a while. Miyuki then came to the school, hoping to meet Kagaya. Likewise with Kagaya who came to school because she wanted to meet Miyuki. However, the two did not see each other because they came to school at different times. One day, Miyuki gets a message from Chika who invites her friends to the fireworks festival. Hearing that, Miyuki was very happy because he finally got to meet Kagaya. On the other hand, Kagaya who also got the message felt the same happiness because she was able to meet Miyuki. But apparently, Kagaya is not allowed to go to the fireworks festival and is blocked by her servants. Miyuki, who had arrived at the festival, seemed to be looking forward to Kagaya's arrival. However, one of Kagaya's servants met Miyuki and said that Kagaya couldn't come to the festival. Meanwhile, Kagaya tries to run away from home to meet Miyuki at the fireworks festival. However, upon arrival, the fireworks festival was over and she couldn't find Miyuki anywhere. She then vented her sadness by sobbing in a quiet corner of the park. Not long after, Miyuki came and tried to cheer up Kagaya by taking her to see fireworks elsewhere. They enjoyed a very beautiful fireworks display in the sky by taking a taxi. Along the way, Kagaya feels more sure of her feelings for Miyuki, and so does Miyuki. However, when they meet at school the next day, both Kagaya and Miyuki feel prestige and hide their feelings for each other. At the end of their term of office, Miyuki and the student council members were seen packing their things from the student council room. When she was about to go home, Kagaya suddenly felt her chest tighten and she fell unconscious. Miyuki and the others rushed her to the hospital. Arriving at the hospital, Kagaya was immediately treated by a special doctor who always handled the Shinomiya family. Miyuki concluded that Kagaya most likely had a history of heart disease after her maid informed that Kagaya's mother died of heart disease. Miyuki then watched the explanation of the doctor who treated Kagaya, which was broadcast on television, where the doctor said that heart disease could recur due to stress. 
stress can be avoided, one of which is by dancing regularly. A few days later, Kagaya, whose condition has recovered, finally returns to school and plans to run for student council president candidate in the new school year. Even though she seemed fine, Miyuki soon realized that Kagaya must be hiding something behind her candidacy plan. Worrying about Kagaya's health condition, Miyuki finally decides to run as a candidate for student council president. He actually doesn't want Kagaya to be stressed with the student council president's workload, which might cause her illness to recur. There was a rivalry between them again. After that, one of Kagaya's maids told her that Miyuki secretly often met Chika and was alone in the warehouse behind the school. Kagaya who felt jealous then asked her maid to keep spying on Miyuki and Chika. Long story short, the student council president election day finally arrived. Kagaya then climbs the podium and reveals Miyuki and Chika's secret meeting in the warehouse behind the school, which is considered a shameful act and should not be imitated. However, Miyuki denies that he did something indecent with Chika and reveals that in fact he was only practicing dancing with Chika so that one day he could invite Kagaya to dance with him. But Kagaya didn't necessarily believe Miyuki's words. Chika and Yu then climbed the podium and explained to Kagaya about it, where Miyuki only hoped that, by inviting Kagaya to dance, she would not feel stressed so that her heart disease would not recur. Miyuki then showed the results of his dance practice accompanied by Chika. Seeing that, Kagaya finally believed Miyuki's words. In her heart, Kagaya did not deny that she often pranked Miyuki so that he brought out his bad side. But apparently, Miyuki didn't have a bad side at all. Miyuki then revealed her reason for running again as student council president in front of everyone. He said that he wanted to protect Kagaya from being burdened with duties as a student council member, which could make her stressed and her illness could recur. But then, Kagaya revealed that her chest felt tight and she fainted a while ago because she was in love, not because of heart disease. Kagaya then expresses her love for Miyuki, as does Miyuki who openly says that he loves Kagaya. Miyuki and Kagaya didn't realize that they were expressing their feelings in front of everyone. But after realizing it, both Miyuki and Kagaya felt proud again and said they actually loved school. After being elected as student council president, Miyuki then asked Kagaya to become vice president. Kagaya agreed to Miyuki's request. When Chika and Yu suddenly entered the student council room, the two were about to kiss. Chika who thought Miyuki and Kagaya were fighting, then encouraged the two to make up with each other. However, this actually made Miyuki and Kagaya kiss accidentally. Suddenly Chika and Yu were very surprised to see the rival pair kissing each other. But because their respective egos were too big, both Miyuki and Kagaya thought this was done intentionally because love is a war for them. Through this film, we learn that if you love someone, you should never feel prestige or hold onto it. It's better to express our love feelings to the person and don't think too much about the answer. Because if we express our feelings, then more or less we will feel relieved and will also feel happy if we do not expect the same in return from the people we love.